So as an open admission shelter, sometimes things get a little unconventional around here. We not only take in dogs and cats, but we take in any animal that needs us from within Frederick County. Whether they're owned or stray, as long as they're from within county limits, they can come to our shelter if they need us, if their family doesn't want them any longer. We are open admission, so regardless of um, temperament, behavior, or even species, we do take in uh, different types of animals. So these little guys, I've got Remy, and Randy has Ryder. They're two female gerbils. They arrived with four other gerbils. So at the moment, our gerbil population is at six. Um, these two girls live together. Our preference is that if you are considering adopting rodents that come to us, if we house them together at the shelter, um, our preference is that they get adopted out together. They have been friends, they live nicely together, they tend to live longer if they have a friend with them. Um, it maintains their social skills, especially if you've got a long day at work, if your kids have a long day at school, you have the gerbils kind of keeping each other company. So Remy and Ryder are what we consider a bonded pair and need to get adopted together. Gerbils typically are what I consider um, one of the more social in the, the whole collection of, of rodent choices. They tend to not be as nippy uh, as other rodents can be. And these girls in particular, they're very friendly. They're fairly easy to handle. Um, you don't necessarily have to chase them around the cage, but you do need to provide for them. So if you're thinking about adopting a gerbil as a pet, you wanna be responsible. You wanna make sure that you're housing them in something safe. If you have other pets in your home, you wanna make sure, especially if they're predatory, predatory pets, or, um, exotic, or interested pets that might be interested in, in gerbils. Um, you wanna make sure that the gerbils are in, in the housing unit, maybe an aquarium or some kind of uh, cage set up where they'll, they'll be safe from those interested parties. You also wanna make sure that you understand that gerbils need their cages cleaned on a regular basis, um, at least weekly to do what we call here a full clean, but then you want to spot clean every day because gerbils use their, um, they empty out in their, in their housing um, area. One of the, the reasons that gerbils and other small rodents end up with us is the unrealistic expectations that parents may have. So if your child is three, um, they can certainly be taught to, with supervision, with your supervision as a parent, they can be taught to hold a gerbil safely. They cannot be expected to clean out the gerbil cage every week to the degree and satisfaction that you would want that done. So if you're adopting these guys and, and you have small children, you wanna make sure mom and dad that, that you understand that you're gonna be responsible for cleaning the cage, for going to the store to get the proper food, um, and for taking these guys to the vet if that is what's needed. But other than that, gerbils in general are very social. These in particular, all six of them are very easy to handle. And if you have any other questions on gerbils, gerbil care, or you wanna meet with these guys, certainly come into the shelter during the hours we're open. We're happy to always to, to answer questions for you. But again, this is Remy and Ryder, and they are looking for a forever home. And that wraps it up for this week's Pet Pals. We are so glad that you could join us this week to view some of the animals that are looking for um, adoptive families. If you have any questions on anybody that you've seen today, you wanna to make sure you stop by the shelter. We're open from uh, Monday through Saturday, different hours, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday from 10 to five or kennel hours, Wednesday and Thursday from 10 to eight, and then on Saturdays from 10 until four. Have a great week, and we will see you next time on Pet Pals.